Hi, I'm Priya Rao from First Weekend Club, and I'm here with Ruba Nada talking about her latest film, October Gale. Welcome, Ruba. Thank you. Now, this film has uh, such a strong female character. She really kicks ass. I mean, she literally kicks ass. She does. And you built this around Patricia Clarkson, who's sort of your longtime collaborator now. Yeah. Can you tell us about how and why you built this around her? I, for me, I think I always get obsessed with character first. And I saw Helen uh, this, as this woman going through grief and loss and trying to reclaim her life. And then she gets caught up in this incredibly uh, intense situation. And I was really fascinated by the idea that this woman saves herself, mm -hmm. that she doesn't need a husband or mm -hmm. a son or a man to save her, that she does it herself and she fights back. And so the only person who I saw could do actually do that is Patricia. I mean, she looks delicate, you know, but she don't get her angry. Don't. <laughs> so, whoa. In a way, I think some of my friends would say that sounds like me. Small but feisty. <laughs> yeah, you look delicate, but I wouldn't want to mess with you. See? That, and that we just met. isn't fooling me. Flowers, no. Um, well, thank you. I take that as a compliment, I think. Uh, and on that note, you know, Patricia seems to be somewhat of your muse. Is, would you qualify her as that? She is. I mean, we're, what's really great about her is that for a director, it's all about casting. So if you cast the movie right, then, you know, 50% of your job is basically done. Mm -hmm. And so she's just so, she's so powerful as an actor. She can convey so much emotion, strength, vulnerability, but she's also very subtle, which is so important to me because mm -hmm. I like to keep movies and stories open for interpretation and, and vague. And I like that dialogue afterwards. Mm -hmm. And so she's able to do that. She's able to win you over and just be amazing every single time. And I'm the kind of director who likes to get, you know, scenes in three takes, at least four takes. That's it. And she delivers right. you know, every, every, every single time. And um, wh what would you say were one of some of your favorite memories working with her on this film? This film was very challenging. It was, the weather was against us. The production went sideways very early on. It was such a nightmare. I thought Cairo was difficult to shoot, but I realized that when the weather doesn't cooperate, there's not much you can do. And so I remember um, Scott telling me, a storm is coming. Let's just go shoot it. Let's just go shoot the storm. Let's just drop what we're doing and go shoot in the rain and the thunder and the fog. And from then on, we started doing that. And so there was a point where he said that, and we went out and shot a scene where Patricia had to be in the boat with thunder and lightning and mm -hmm. bad waves. And and I was like, let's just rock Patty's boat like more. Uh, <laughs> she almost th got thrown out of the boat. Like, And I remember she was like, I'm going to kill you because she kept saying, I can do everything. I can do everything. I can ride a boat. I can swim. I can handle a rifle. But there are moments where, I mean, we were laughing about it like two seconds later, but. Well, and that water was freezing and she had to be in it. It's, she likes authenticity. She's like me. And because it's not a hundred million dollar film, you, you need that authenticity. Mm -hmm. So she, you know, she was in the boat, she was in the water and like the, the water didn't thaw until two days before we were about to go in there. And so you can, you can be in there more than two minutes before right. getting hypothermia. And so, but she's just tough. Like I know it's, it's hard to believe, but cause she's so, she looks so delicate, but she's just a very tough woman. Well, and, she has a very ethereal looking face, which yeah. makes her seem delicate, angelic, but you know, angels, they're, they're, they're made of strong stuff. Don't mess with them. Yeah. And one of the things I really enjoyed about this film is that it's a thriller, but it's, it's so, um, there's so much quiet yeah. in it, which really builds not only the suspense, but it builds such a nice tone because there is the thriller aspect of the yeah. film. There's also the, the love story yeah. that she's remembering of her, her recently lost husband. And it was such a fine line that you've drawn of this love story in the midst of this crazy thing that's happening to yeah. her. Was that an, a hard line to, to play in the shooting? Not really, because as long as you have your character in mind and what their journey is and what they're going through and what they're, you know, trying to survive and get over, then you've got, you've got the storyline. And so what, I mean, it, I always laugh when people say it's a thriller because it's sort of like, well, it, thank you. 
but it's not your traditional form no. of thriller because it's basically just a woman going through a very heightened situation and watching her and seeing what decisions and options she has dwindling and where she ends up at the end. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because there's no shootouts, there's no, you know, no. it's a very emotional. But the thrilling aspect of it is that it's something that could happen, happen to anybody. Right. Well, there's two universal aspects to it is that we've all, we've either all been through grief or we've known someone who's been through mm -hmm. grief. And at the same time, there's the what if, like if this happened to you, and this is something I talked to Patty about, like if this happened to you or I, what would you do? You'd fight back because mm -hmm. if, if they're going to take you down, you're going to, you're gonna go down you, yeah, you're going to go down fighting and you're going to take them down with you. Yeah. And that's a very female thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you are continuing to work with Patricia. Uh, I'm just wondering um, what I would need to do to become your next muse. <laughs> you're so sweet. Um, hmm. What you would need to do. Uh, I'm directable. Perfect. I'm directable. <laughs> you're, pretty, you're pretty cute. You're perfect. Keep it up. So um, next film, we, we'll just talk about it we'll off talk. camera. Get your agent to contact mine. I, I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> October Gale, folks, you have to go see that this is a thriller and a love story that is just really beautiful. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>